Hi, my name is Ali Yazdani. I'm from the Princeton Physics Department. And today, I want to show you my laboratory where we carry out all the experiments. Our group focuses on study of topological and correlated electronic systems. We use a suite of scanning tunneling microscopy instruments to carry out the different experiments and projects in our laboratory. I'm going to show you these instruments today, but before I do that, I want to first give you a sense of how these instruments are actually developed by showing you actually a piece of equipment that was just recently retired from my laboratory. So over here, actually in my office, we have this uh, heart of the scanning tunneling microscope which is the cryogenic components and the UHV components of this microscope housing the STM right down here at the bottom. Let's go down to the lab. Okay, I'm going to show you these ultra quiet rooms where our instruments are housed. This is an example of one of our instruments in the lab, which is a vector field scanning tunneling microscope. We actually have two of these machines in this lab. Uh, they look very similar. One is this vector field machine operating at 1 Kelvin, and the other one is a millikelvin machine operating with magnetic field up to uh, 14 Tesla. They're both actually hanging uh, from structures which are placed inside these ultra-quiet rooms. The ultra-quiet rooms have basically a floor structures which are uh, 40 ton of concrete which are suspended to create very quiet environments for these instruments to operate. And they're of course also behind acoustic enclosures to prevent sound from disturbing the experiments. This is our most recently constructed instrument. It's a millikelvin STM with some very special features. Over the years when we built STMs in this laboratory, we always connected it to whatever cryogenic system we were using to achieve a particular performance, but we were basically stuck with the same STM and same microscopy head that we had designed. What we developed here is an instrument in which a microscope is actually interchangeable. It actually has a special low lock in which the microscope is introduced from room temperature and the microscope is transferred into the UHV chamber. The samples are prepared, inserted into the microscope and the microscope is transferred and cooled down to when the experiments are performed. These instruments are controlled from outside of the ultra quiet room. So what this instrument is working on right now is looking at twisted bilayer graphene samples at millikelvin temperatures and trying to understand how superconductivity takes place in the system by using the spectroscopic capability of the STM. The ability to be able to swap the microscope makes this uh, instrument very versatile, uh, both being able to have different kind of microscopes designed, but also if something goes wrong with the microscope, we don't have to uh, break vacuum or warm up the system. This ultra high vacuum tube is actually initially just empty and it is connected to the UHV chambers on top. It's baked out at room temperature and then we have the cryogenic part basically raised around it after that has happened. It still is empty but what it has on the bottom is a number of pin connectors specially designed to receive the microscope that would be plugged in from above we have developed a very specific kind of STM heads to make the process of doing experiments very efficient. For example, what we have, uh, these STM heads, is one which it, it receives two samples. And what's very cool about this is that often STM experiments end because your tip has interacted with the sample and no longer uh, you can use that tip in that state. But in this microscope, what we have is two samples in the same instrument. So you can go back and forth between your actual sample that you're studying, going to the sample that you want to study, and if the tip goes bad, you can go back and uh, refresh it in situ without actually taking the sample out. But this entire module can come in and out, and now we have plans to design different kinds of uh, microscopy tools, which would basically have to confine to this overall design to be able to be used with this entire infrastructure to be able to go to millikelvins and high magnetic fields. That's why this is very, very versatile. Thanks for coming to the lab. I hope with this short tour, you got a sense of the instrumentation we use to study topological and correlated systems. These are some of the most exciting problems that are going on in condensed matter physics today. And our ability to look on the atomic scale of what electrons are doing in these systems with the instruments you saw gives us a unique advantage to get at their interesting physics. Yeah.